So this video is to describe wound care and hair washing instructions, which would start one day after surgery. So this is when we see patients in the office, remove their initial dressings, uh, examine them, make sure everything is healing as expected, uh, and then we start uh, the post-operative care. So the first thing that we, we ask our patients to do is apply polysporin to the incision lens. So Alyssa is going to do that for Linda. And Linda, I'll just get you to turn your head like that. So there's some staples uh, right at the temporal hairline. So those get sort of buttered up with uh, polysporin. And then in front of the ear where the incisions are placed, and you don't see much there because they are dissolvable stitches. They're kind of skin colored. Uh, and then a little bit goes behind the ear into the groove. Again, there's dissolvable stitches there. And then the last is just along the staple line in the occipital hairline. That's the hairline at the back where we've sort of migrated all that excess skin from the neck and trimmed it. So that needs to be done a couple of times a day. And you know, you can't really overdose on polysporin, so I just suggest that people sort of lather it up with polysporin a couple of times a day, and that's, and that's all they really need to do. So the other thing we like to go over uh, at day one, after we've taken the dressings off, is just how to manage the hair. So it's, it's often really nice for people to know that they can wash their hair the day after surgery because it's caked up with all kinds of stuff. And um, there's probably a little bit of blood in there. Um, there's probably a bit of polysporin. And just some of the stuff you know, during the surgery that gets into the hair a little bit. Um, really easy to do. It just needs to be rinsed out with water. You can use a little bit of soap to wash the hair. Um, I wouldn't use super hot water because you're not going to feel that, right. but it just needs to be rinsed. Don't scrub the hair, just rinse it in the shower, um, a little bit of soap, perfectly fine. I wouldn't recommend that you use conditioner, but you can take a shower the next day as well. And by the time you're back, you know, here in a week or so, the hair looks fine. Okay. You know? um, you're going to want to be careful not to brush the hair too much. If you want to brush it at the back, it's fine, but I wouldn't brush it along here where you've got stitches and staples that might catch, you know, on the... Right. On the, uh, on the brush. And that's basically it. The last thing we want to talk about is the uh, compression dressing. And this is something that I think is helpful, particularly if we've tightened up the neck, because gravity is going to want to pull your neck down when you're standing up. And so we want to try and oppose that with a bit of compression. So what we do is get you to put a little bit of gauze right underneath the neck where we've pulled it up, and then just use this cling dressing, which is a Velcro. And you can make, that as make this as tight as you want. So I often, you know, don't make it tight enough in the office. I'm too, That's perfect. too gentle, but yeah. um, you know, you just put it on there. At night, you can take it off. If you feel like taking it off to go grocery shopping or for coffee or something, perfectly fine. Okay. Um, just wear it as much as you feel you can. Okay. Do you like the way that feels? I do like the way it feels. Yeah. I think yeah. that's part of it. I think a lot of patients tell feel, us that. It feels, it feels nice. Yeah, I even wear it at night. In there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's why. Yeah. And then at home, you know, continue to, to be on a little bit of a tilt so you get a little bit less swelling. I have been sleeping. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And then when you get to a week or so, I think you can pretty much sleep whatever way you want. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. And um, then once the uh, staples come out, can I actually wash my hair just be careful around there but That's i can right. actually wash yep you can and wash and you can sort of put some I fingers can. in there and and you can use a bit of conditioner perfectly okay. fine okay. Uh, the other question i often get is when can i color my hair again okay uh, and i would say you know when you're when we're sure that the incisions are watertight and you're not going to get any hair dye in there you can you can dye your hair again i generally say probably three weeks after surgery is fine i don't know the truth Maybe it's after a week it would be fine, but I think to be careful, I would say, you know, give it three weeks before you uh, dye your hair if, if you want to do yeah, that. I did it beforehand. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. So, I'm good. Um, <laughs> makeup, anytime you want now. Okay. You can co cover up bruises, you can, you can do whatever you want with, with your eyelashes and eyebrows, all that stuff, you can go back to normal. As long as we haven't done surgery on your eyes, which we didn't. Right. Actually, we did, but it, it was a long time, long ago. time ago. Right. And washing <laughs> and washing is fine. My face and yes. around here yeah. is all okay now. And just be just be gentle. gentle. If you're gonna wear makeup, make it make sure it's stuff that comes off easily, yes. so you don't have to scrub it. Right. And um, yeah, those those are sort of the main instructions. You're you're at the point now where you're gonna really start to go back to being pretty normal. Great, fantastic. So that was fairly painless then, to be honest with you. Good. Well, I'm glad to hear to that. To be honest with you, yeah, I thought it would be a lot longer, but. No, it's, it's pretty good.